Hey everybody, it's the Wyco Nomad coming at you live, no, not live, recorded, pre-recorded. Um, this was recorded ahead of time, as always. Guys, I gotta do this stuff. I work the graveyard shift, but hopefully, y'all willing, that changes here very soon. Um, I'll know Tuesday. Y'all willing, it's all because of him. But, Refuge Medical Training, check it out refugemedical.com best american made first aid kits small business people you're supporting families you're supporting america um no hands down guys you know i love refuge medical um hands down so that's it for the advertisements but what are we going to talk about this week oh as always we are drinking iced tea no alcohol tonight. That might be tomorrow. We might do another one tomorrow. Ah, there you go. I know that's driving some of me nuts. Um, <laughs> and yes, I. Someone pointed out that when I drink, the microphone is so close to my throat, you get the, the gulping. So I'll try to work on that a little bit. I promise you, because the yeah. So. Wow, last week there was a lot of stuff in the prepper sphere. Green down, power outage, EMP, coronal mass ejection, the Carrington effect. Got me thinking, okay? Um, there's a lot of people that have basically brought out, brought apart, brought apart, brought up the fragility of the power grid. We've all heard it, okay? I'm not going to go into details about how fragile it is. It's fragile. Not going to go into the EMP thing. Yes, yeah, is a possibility. It's never always. It's never really been a concern of mine that we're going to be hit with an EMP. Never. That was never really my thing. It's like I see the systematic failure due to component loss because it's so antiquated. But it got me thinking. And when I saw that, I posted it up to the mag, my mag, the Wyco mag. And I said, hey guys, the lights went out. How are you set up? And one of the council members, um, we have a member, a five count, five member council. Um, we do the kind of the 13th man, four people in agreement. The one person has to disagree. Prevents groupthink, prevents stupidity. Um, and anybody can choose that role. Just, okay, everyone's agreeing with this. I have to say something opposing. And it's not always me. Sometimes I get caught up in the uh, the fear fest. Guys, I'm human. And one of the council members turned around and posted, I'm buying my generator next week. Cool. Diesel generator. It was basically you could do use diesel or propane. Turned out that actually that particular model, another member of the mag said, "Hey, that's got a lot of problems, a lot of returns." Duly noted. Let's let everyone in the mag know this is probably a bad thing to choose. But what got me thinking was awesome. You're buying a diesel generator, gas operator generator, even if it's not diesel. Maybe it's just gas. Power grid's down. Number one, when are you going to run that generator? Oh, I'm going to run it at night for dinner and I'll turn it on. No, you're not. When is it the quietest? Nighttime. So if you're in the shit has hit the fan and you're planning on running your generator at night, you're going to attract those that you don't want to attract. He has power, they have power. They have power, they have food. They have prepared where we have failed. Now you're dealing with people behaving badly. Um, that could convince, it can go to your high population. It could also go to your rural area. Once if someone's walking by, that's just, even people out in the country, they may not be prepared either. Okay, we got to think about these things. Run at night, getting attention. <sighs> now you got to play with pew pews and 
you know my opinion about that. We don't want to be that. That's we don't want to go there. We don't unless we absolutely have to. That should be the last result and last res. I'm trying to think of the word. Sorry, guys. Should be the last outcome. That should be the last thing you do. Okay, is go to the pew pews. Plain and simple. That's just me. And no, I'm I'm not a tree hugging peace nick or whatever you want to call it. Okay. I do believe sometimes violence is the answer. We have a book for that. So you're not gonna run it at night, you're gonna run it at the day. What are you powering? You're powering your oven, your freezer, you're running it just long enough to keep your freezer cold. Okay. This now requires you to do math. And I don't know where your ex is, and I don't know why your ex left you, okay? Talk to your algebra teacher. So, how long are you gonna run it? How long does it run on a tank of gas? And if it can run X amount of hours on one tank of gas, and you're running it for X amount of minutes or hours, how long is that one tank of gas gonna last you? This is an important concept here. How much gas do you have stored up to run that? Because when you run out of that gas from running that generator, you can't run down to the loafing jug and get a fill up. Power's down, grid's down. It is Tia Tawaki. Siphon gas out of your car. Cool. Wife has a car, we don't use it. Okay, going to siphon the gas out of that. What if you have to bug out of your location because baddies have shown up and you got to leave the X? Got to get off the X. And then that also can go into how are you going to get the X back? Not algebra. A whole different YouTube video. Back to generators. How long is it going to run? With what you have stored for gas? Or do you have gas stored up for your vehicles? And do you have gas stored up stored up for your generator? Especially if it's a gas generator. I, in the situation I'm at right now, cannot do a gas generator. Okay? Still working on the property thing. Long story. We're not gonna go into it because it drives me nuts. I kind of like the um, Blue Eddy or the Blue TTI. Um, I honestly don't know how they pronounce that. I'm gonna say it's Blue Eddy. Um, I like their systems. I do. It's solar generated. Um, you can redo it. I like their portable power. Um, the one that I was looking at, your mouse battery is running low. Great. Um, which one was I looking at? I was looking at the Blue Eddy, the Blue Eddy, the AC70. It's a thousand watt, but it is 768 watts per hour. It's one I like. And you can buy batteries to boost it and also to extend its time. I like this one particularly because it runs what I need it to run. I'm not looking to run my house. I'm really not. Okay. You can get a 300 watt solar kit for it so you can recharge it. Awesome. I like that because it's rechargeable power. If the gas generator dies out, I have solar. Cool. Where I'm at, where I'm, I'm at, this is perfect because it allows me to charge up my radios, allows me to charge up one of my entertainment centers. Yes, I believe in having somewhat of entertainment during a grid down. That's why I have playing cards. That's why we have Monopoly. We have board games for that. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So this has, I mean, I like it. It's not cheap, not cheap. Just the system right now, $500, $500. That's expensive, okay? That's not money to throw around. I'm just gonna put out my credit card. A borrower is a slave to their lender. Try not to put all your preps on credit cards, people. Seriously, try not to, okay? Pay cash before cash is useless. So, 
Jackery, Goal Zero, those are two other ones that are really awesome as well. There are all sorts of solar generators. I like the blue TTI, the blue Eddy. I like it um, for the price. Also, th I like their home systems, their battery backup solar for home too. So, um, but that's 13K. That'll be for the homestead, the property. Just makes sense. Where are you at with your solar? So if there is a grid down, oh, we have solar panels from the, the, the power company. Do you have a battery backup? No. Better double check how that solar is going to work for your house now. Okay. There's all sorts of problems if you don't have that battery backup. But if you're thinking of a diesel gas operated generator, what's the mathematical equation of how long you can use it if you can no longer get gas? I'm noticing that a lot of preppers are like, I didn't think about that. There you go. You didn't think about something. And then I know some of you are like, I, I, I knew that. I knew that. Cool. You know it. Share it with those in your group. Let them know. If you know something, don't keep it to yourself and then turn around and say, well, I knew that. Because you know what that tells me? You didn't know it. You're just embarrassed that you didn't know it. So if you know something, Share it. It's your job to help educate others. Okay? Think, think about that one. That Oh, I knew that. That is a pet peeve of mine. It really is. Well, if you knew it, how come you didn't bring it up before and share with others? Mm -hmm. You just don't want to look bad. You're not looking bad if you don't know something. Because you don't know what you don't know. That's plain and simple. We're at 12 minutes. I wanted to keep this under 15 minutes. I hope you found this helpful and all that good stuff. Do the YouTube stuff. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, comment, thumbs up. And to that one individual that keeps giving me thumbs down, thank you. I look forward to that. I appreciate it. Because apparently there's something I do. It's, it's the gray and the goatee you don't like, isn't it? Isn't it? Or are you just that angry fed boy? Who knows? <laughs> but no, honestly, hey, if you don't like the video, put a thumbs down. But honestly, thumbs up, all that stuff. Likes, subscribe, share. Guys, thank you again. My channel is slowly growing. Those of you that have given me suggestions on what to do with the channel, thank you. I appreciate them. I may or may not use them. We'll see. It's still my channel. But with that, shalom. Watch your six. As always, I'm the White Co Nomad. Till next time. I'm out.